Today we're showing you how to make healthy, fudgy, chocolatey banana bread. It has the perfect combination of sweetness, moist, and a hint of nuttiness from the chocolate. It's super easy to make and you'll love it. You will need 2 ripe bananas, 1.5 tablespoon of oil, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a cup of nut butter, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 2 tablespoons of cacao powder, 2 teaspoons of cinnamon powder, or more. Finally, a quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Let's get started! To put all the wet ingredients in the bowl, we'll start with mashing two ripe bananas. Then we put peanut butter in, my favorite peanut butter with no sugar. Here I use chunky peanut butter, but you can use whatever peanut butter you like. Then I put avocado oil in, eyeballing some vanilla extract from Costco, and two organic eggs. Crack into the bowl, add into our all-purpose organic flour, mix, mix, mix. Here we use brown sugar, but feel free to use cane sugar, coconut sugar, whatever sugar you feel like using. Cinnamon powder is another thing that we always eyeballing because you can never get enough cinnamon powder. Then we put in cacao powder, we just mix everything really well. Mix, mix, mix for probably another 5 minutes or so until the batter looks something like this. You know, looks like a brownie consistency. Oh, almost forgot we're making banana bread. Banana bread consistency. Then we add our chocolate chips. And we fold the chocolate chips in. Just make sure everything's well mixed. Then we put into a baking pan. They're already lined with parchment paper. It's going to be a little sticky. But just be a little patient and try to fold everything in. And here I'm using a spoon. That's not very smart. I will quickly switch to a spatula. Thank you. Okay, so I use the spatula to kind of flatten it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Eventually it will look like this. Then it will be ready to go into the oven. You will bake at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 35 minutes. And ta-da! All the hard work has been paid off. Cut in half or smaller pieces if you like. And look at the steam. Just give this recipe a try and I promise you won't regret it. And thank you for watching.